Okay, folks, we're here to show you another 2018 Newmar. This is a Dutch Star that is brand new for 2018, and it is gorgeous. It's going to give my 4369 a run for the money, I think. I, I'm not ready to declare it my new favorite floor plan yet, but it's close. It's very, very nice. So uh, let's take a look around. As always, we'll start on the outside. We'll give you a shot on the inside with the, sh with the slides closed, show you the walkway, and then we'll open it all up and, and do a detailed walkthrough on the inside as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Of course, as you can see, we've optioned in the, the mirror package down the side of the coach. So you see um, all the shininess. We love the shininess. The grill's got some wonderful chrome. The, the side baggage doors, the steps have some nice chrome this year. You're gonna love it. But I'm gonna start right here. Now this compartment, not a whole lot to show here. These are some chassis fuses. This has to do with the Freightliner system. Um, they, Newmar did option in some spare fuses this year. They give you a little holder for them there and everything. Um, but this is mostly chassis serviceability. And quite frankly, there really isn't a heck of a lot of need for that in most instances. These chassis are extremely reliable. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with an RV and you can have different problems, but, but man, the Freightliner chassis tied to a Cummins engine, tied to an Allison transmission, folks, it's gonna go down the road. Keep good tires on this thing. It, it'll get you where you're going. Let's look up front. All right. Now this generator is running right now as you can probably hear, but it's not real loud. Uh, the Onan generators are notoriously quiet. This is a 10K gen because this does have three roof air conditioners on it. Um, and I always like to show this part because I think sometimes it just gets neglected and it turns into, yeah, it has a generator. Um, so 10K Onan gen. You can see we have fuel hookup here if you need to inflate some tires or anything else, or fuel hookup, air hookup, I'm sorry. Um, air uh, nozzle there, that's a quick connect. You can hook an airline into it, air up your tires, air up any of the beach toys, whatever you prefer. And then we also have this, which is our hot water to generator. Um, so that brings hot water from our Oasis system up to our generator area. So if we want to wash our car or clean the bugs off our windshield, we can do it with hot water instead of cold. And I think we can all agree that's a nice feature. Then on the 43 foot Dutch stars, there's another feature. Your generator actually pulls out for accessibility. You need to do any type of servicing, um, change the oil, change the air filter, check fluids. How easy is that to get to? And that slides very, very easily. So um, easy access to the gen. Lastly, um, back in there by the, uh, by the red spigot there, you actually have your air horns as well. Instead of mounting those up on top of the roof, which, okay, they look cool on top of the roof, but they don't add anything for aerodynamics. They're exposed to the elements, and we're poking a bunch of holes in the roof to screw them down, which are opportunities for leaks later in life. And I think we can all agree, much better spot. And my God, you can hear them down here. So um, that's, a, that's a little bit about this front compartment here. Let me lock that in place. There we go. Of course, we have aluminum r wheels on here. These front tires are the 365s. Those are the big boys. Um, you use bigger tires up front because there's a lot of weight up here and there's only one set of tires. In the back where you have six more tires, all that weight's a little bit more uh, distributed, but the, the 365s on the front end here um, are to make sure that we're well within specs as far as uh, carrying capacities go. So that's good. Fuel fill on either side of the coach so you don't have to worry about um, when you're pulling into the pump, which side you can access. If you can get to either side, you're good. Frameless windows are, of course, standard. This coach has the manual awnings, which I actually prefer. Now, power awnings are nice. Listen, the more power goodies you have, the more fun it is, I guess, in one sense. But it's more opportunities for little things to go wrong. These are so easy to operate. You simply grab the hook hook that strap and hook it on that cleat right there. It takes literally about three seconds to open that and it's manual and it'll never go wrong. And you've got a metal wrap around it. So you're not, if you snag that um, tree branch, something along those lines coming into the in or out of the campground, you're not gonna have to worry about it. So, but try to avoid the tree branch. It's just a beautiful coach. Of course, Newmar's full body paint masterpiece finish. Up front here, we actually have our bank of eight house batteries. This is an all-electric coach. 
So these are on a pull-out tray. They're easy to access. There's a little a legend, if you will, that tells you uh, if you ever had to replace batteries, tells you exactly how to wire them back up. These are six volt batteries instead of 12. It is a 12 volt system. That just has to do with how we wire it together. The six volt batteries actually last a little bit longer and they're a little slower to discharge. So uh, those, those are preferred uh, in, in high-end all electric coaches. Okay. That's a big pass-through area there, goes all the way through to the other side. Of course, everything is very well finished and carpeted in a Numar. The floors are the thickest in the industry. That is a very, very, very well insulated basement. Anywhere there's water tanks, there is heat pumped into that area whenever your Oasis system is running. So um, I always tell people, you know, you can never guarantee a customer that a coach could never freeze because technically it gets cold enough, you know, 30 below zero, 40 below zero, houses are freezing, okay? But I can promise you this, the Numar will be the last thing in the campground to freeze. Thickest walls, thickest floor, thickest roof, most insulation, two different types of insulation in the sidewalls, um, thickest basement floors, and very, very well thought out. Uh, you just don't typically have those type of problems with a, with a Numar product of any kind, certainly not a Dutch Star. And, and, and by the way, if you're really having freeze up problems, you're doing it wrong. It's a motor home. Point it towards the equator and drive there and, and you won't have those problems down by the equator. I promise you that. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, by the way, these compartments, they have these little buttons. These light up. It's hard to see the lights. It's a really sunny day today, but at night these look really cool because it's all LED lights down there. So. All right, we have a pull-out tray and this tray goes out either side. Look at that. Of course, this is carpeted as well, which makes it nice. Your, your uh, belongings are protected. You can get to whatever you want. Even if it's right in the middle, you see this comes way out um, and, and it does come out both sides. So we'll push that back in. Let's open this compartment door. That is our Oasis system. Oasis is hydronic heating. Hydronic heating is a closed loop circulation system that heats your coach and heats your water. There's no water heater on this coach that's separate from this. There's no furnace that's separate from this. This is like a little boiler room, okay, and our, our boiler antifreeze circulates throughout the coach through little heat exchangers that are located throughout. That's where we get our heat from in the coach, and it comes back into this box right here, and that boiler antifreeze gets heated. Now, it can be heated with your diesel fuel, it can be heated with electricity, um, but one way or another, we heat that fluid and circulate it throughout the coach. And then there's a secondary loop in there that actually heats the water as it comes through. So it's on-demand hot water, and you can have as much hot water as you want. You want to take a 40-minute shower, as long as you are hooked up to city water and, and your gray tank's hooked up to uh, um, sewer, take a 40-minute shower and do a load of laundry at the same time. You can't do that on most coaches. The Oasis system will allow you to do that. So there you go. Moving on. 50 feet, 50 amp shore power cord. Most shore power cords are more in the 20 to 25 foot range, and they're no fun to wrestle, especially if it's cold outside. 50 amp cord's no fun at all. Um, on the power rewind reel, you just hit the button, it retracts itself back in. That's the kind of ease we're looking for. Moving on. Here we have our wet bay. This is a, definitely a heated compartment. Whenever that Oasis system is running, there is heat coming into this compartment because this is, this is where a lot of the business happens. Um, we have, a, of course, our, our hose, our, our fresh water hose is on a reel too, so it's easy to go back in there. Um, and, and more importantly, it has its own place, so it's out of your way. It's not dripping water on anything else. Um, so that's nice. Whole house water filtration system. We have hot and cold water out here. We have a black tank flush out here easy winterization through this little hose right here. Our knife valves are up in this heated compartment. You know, sometimes it's funny because they'll, they'll build a motorhome and talk about the fact they heated their basement, but then they leave their um, sewer termination point and their knife valves exposed to the elements. If you can't get rid of the water, you can't get more water in. So again, heated compartment. Um, this is a nice thick floor. Again, like the rest of the Newmar basement, that floor is like this thick. Um, there's a spot to put paper towels out here. So we want to wipe up when we're done. They make it easy for you. Next, that's the exhaust system, by the way, for the Oasis system. Oasis system. Uh, back here, we have our docking lights. So you can make sure that the picnic table is not in your way when you're backing in. And also, we have a spot to put our sewer hose. 
So uh, th this used to be a little dinky spot and I didn't like it. Um, Numar improved this. That's a nice big spot for a sewer hose. Even your nicer sewer hoses will fit in there. And I always like to point out then they're not mingling with anything else. We don't want our sewer hose doing any mingling. All right. We have our fill here for our DEF tank on this side of the coach. When DEF first came out, a lot of times it was on the wrong side of the coach. Um, and, and places that did have it on the pump, they had it on the pump for semi-rigs. And semi-rigs, everything fills on this side, on the driver's side. Um, so big improvement there. You can actually fill the DEF from either side. Um, but more importantly, it's on this side, which if they have it on the pump, this is the side you want. So that's good. Side radiator instead of a rear radiator. On lesser coaches, you're gonna see the radiator in the rear. When the radiator's at the rear, you have zero zip zilch as far as engine access goes. With this, when we get back there, I'll be able to show you, you have really nice engine access. Um, the other thing is they cool a little better when they're on the side. You have your radiator down below, and then they stack on top of that your oil cooler and your transmission cooler, um, as opposed to stacking them front to back. When you stack them front to back, not everything gets good airflow. When you stack them on top of one another, they all get equal airflow, which is good. We have our emergency egress door. And uh, let's take a moment and we'll demonstrate that for you. All right, new for 2018, we have a new egress door. Now last year we introduced the egress door and that was a, a great improvement over the egress windows where you jump out and land on your head. Um, obviously, I could make this jump here and I'd probably sprain an ankle, but I probably wouldn't kill myself. Um, and, and that's a big improvement. So that was a nice uh, feature Newmark came up with. This year they wanted to take it one step farther. There's just a simple tab here. It's easy to pull. This is just magnetic. And that pulls out of the way. Second step, pull this Velcro right here. And then this just flips down, okay? Now I'm gonna let it down slow, but in the event of emergency, you can just let it go. How slick is that? Nice handle here. You could easily walk out here, go right down the ladder. They put a sticker on there. It's not for repeated use. I read that after I demonstrated one on a video. Um, so I'm not going to put my fat butt up and down that ladder too many times. It is made for, you know, emergency use and it felt very strong and very, very stable when I was on it. Um, it's not meant for everyday use, but certainly if you ever needed to, um, that's, a, that's a great way in and out of this coach. All right, let's move on. Now, of course, on a 43-foot Numar, we do have a tag axle. Actually, even if this was a 40-foot Dutch Start, would still have a tag axle on it. Um, but on 43, you certainly get the tag. Uh, and this is a steerable tag. That's why the rear wheel kind of looks like the front wheels. Um, steerable tag. It's a passive steer system. If you're going below 20 miles an hour and you're going forwards, these rear wheels will actually follow the coach around kind of like if you pulled a grocery cart backwards, okay? The, the front wheels would just follow the cart. This works in the same principle. Well, that does a couple of things, okay? First of all, it, it improves our turning radius, okay? It improves our turning radius because these tires aren't just scooting sideways on the pavement. They're actually following. Also, instead of our pivot point being here, which would be the center of this wheel, if this was a non-tag coach, when you have a tag axle, the center point moves back a little bit. Now, if, if it's not a steerable tag, that center point becomes about here. If it's a steerable tag, it comes back even further because the coach isn't fighting to, to bounce around the parking lot and scrub tires sideways. So wonderful feature. It's so smooth. And the best part about it is it's seamless. As the driver, all you do is turn the wheel. Just, just drive like you always would. The passive steer does its own thing. If you drop the coach in reverse or you go above 20 miles an hour, the air system locks the passive steer in a straightforward uh, configuration. It's just like driving any other coach. So like I said, best part about it, you never have to touch it. Somebody asked me if it's a steerable tag, why do I still need to have the tag dump up in the dash area? And the tag dump is what, um, there, there's a button you can manually dump part of the air out of the bags that support that tag axle. A reason why you might want to do that is if I'm ever in a situation where there's loose ground, loose ground of any kind, whether you know, um, I'm, I'm camping somewhere at some big rally and they've got us all out on these nice grassy fields and then it rains for three days straight and now I've, my nice grassy field is a muddy swamp and I go to leave, well, this tire is actually driven by the rear differential. So, you know, that one's driven. This one is a, this one is a deadbeat. It just kind of, it's along for the ride, if you will. Um, so if these tires start to slip and I'm losing traction, like I said, on loose gravel, mud, whatever, I can dump the air out of this tag and that puts that much more weight back on my drive tires, which are my dualies, so that I can 
hopefully drive right out of the uh, uh, situation. Now you may think, boy, a big bus like that, how often would you get it stuck? I've had one stuck twice. So um, it, it happens in, in other scenarios than you, than you might uh, think about. I usually think about it right after I get it stuck, but it, it can happen. It's not as hard as you think. Thankfully, neither time was, was mine difficult to get out, but uh, it, it does happen. That is a reason why you, you still want the tag dump on there. So, all right, moving on. We'll go to the back of the coach here. First things first, 15,000 pounds of towing capacity. So you guys that might have a stacker trailer, something like that, or a race trailer, uh, this coach is for you. For any of you pulling a Jeep um, or you know a, a small car of any kind, it's overkill, but better too much than not enough. So that, that's your, your tow hitch. As I mentioned, when you have a side radiator, you actually get great, great engine access. Somebody needed to change a belt, it's easy to do. Any of your fluids are so easy to check. There's so much room to move around back here. You do this little plug hanging down, people ask me what that is. That's actually your block heater. Um, in the event that, uh, hey, you've been, you've been camped for a while and um, you're getting ready to leave the next day and the weather's turned cold on you, you can actually plug this, this little plug in right up there and uh, that's gonna turn your block heater on. That makes your engine a little easier to start because your oil's gonna be warmer and it's actually a lot less wear and tear on your engine as well. So block heater's a nice feature, not something you use very often, but it's there when you need it. One piece molded cap. Notice there's no ladder on the back of a Dutch Star. Dutch Star on up in the Newmar line does not have ladders. Folks, it's just an aesthetics thing. You know, somebody asked me, where's the ladder? Ah. Listen, I, I have mixed feelings on this. First of all, the coach is gorgeous. It's gorgeous without a ladder on it. Ladders are kind of unsightly. You know, they're just not, no matter, even the nicest ladders, they're still just kind of ugly. Um, when we get to this level, we're really kind of going for that conversion bus, that Prevo bus, that, that type of look without having that type of price tag, without spending two million bucks. Um, this does that. Uh, same reason we do the Girard awnings on here. Instead of an awning that's bolted to the side of the coach, which works just fine, um, these, these awnings are molded into the top cap and we'll get to that here shortly. Okay, so that's the reason for no, um, no ladder on the back of them. Also, when you take a look up there, you can see your camera is nicely molded up into that cap. It's not just bolted on with a couple screws into the side of the cap. This is a 450 horsepower Cummins engine. That means you have 1,250 foot-pounds of torque and a six-speed Allison transmission. That'll get it done. Um, when you're going through the mountains, you can go through with confidence that, you know, a gas, these gas coaches that still make it up and down the mountains, they're dealing with somewhere 400 to 450 foot-pounds of torque, okay? This is 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Now, this coach weighs more than those gas coaches, but it doesn't weigh three times. So, all right, moving on. Back here we have our chassis batteries and our chassis disconnect. We can see our new emissions filter down below there as well. That does your particulate and your um, NOx gases all in one this year. It was two, two filters in, in years past. So this is where you would, if you're putting your coach in storage, you can actually turn that off. If you're not plugged in, you wanna turn that off so that it actually uh, saves your chassis batteries from discharging so much. Here's the DEF tank itself. Now we saw a fill for it on the other side. We can also fill for it on this side in the event that you need to. So um, DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, it's not a big deal. Um, we thought it was gonna be, we thought the sky was falling when we were gonna have to convert all these motorhomes to go to, go to that back in uh, 2009 and 10 when, the, when they were talking about this. And then it gets here and it, it really ends up to be much ado about nothing um, in the RV world. Now in if you had a delivery truck and it was diesel, it'd be a pain in the butt. You'd have to manually regenerate and that type of thing. But honestly, on these uh, um, motorhomes, all these coaches want for their after treatment is to be driven every now and then for an hour at a time at 60 miles an hour plus. That's all we ever do with these things is drive them at 60 miles an hour for an hour or two at a time or maybe three or four or five hours. So. Um, the coaches regenerate themselves for, for particulate. The, the DEF uses about a gallon for every 50 gallons of fuel. Most people fill this tank maybe twice a year. So it's just not a big deal. Questions about it, you want uh, um, particulars about the SCR system, let me know and I, I can answer those questions for you. All right, moving on. Flush mount slide rooms. I almost forgot, one of my favorite Newmar features. The slides recess back into the wall as opposed to just being a piece of plastic on there like everybody else uses. The piece of plastic is going to catch wind when you're going down the road. That causes wind noise. It's going to catch dirt and water if it's raining outside. 
that can cause a leak. When it's recessed back into the sidewall, those things go away. Um, it's just a better way to do a slide system. So Newmar's done it that way forever. Now they've had this compartment be pegboard for years. Um, what's new for this year is they actually put the little trays in here as well, which I like that even better. Uh, pegboard's nice, um, but I got a toolbox to hold my tools, but all the little fluids and, you know, I need my can of WD-40 and I got my, my wax and, you know, my, my uh, tire shine that I'm going to put on there and all that stuff. Nice to have a little place to put it. So I love that the, they put the little trays in here this year. Nice upgrade. In this compartment, we have a half tray. Uh, this goes to the center of the coach uh, and pulls out very, very easily. Um, this is not a pass-through tray like that other one that we saw, but it's still nice to have. You can see in there, there's your wind sensor for your little awning that's above the door. That's what's mounted right there with lights flashing at us. We have our dirt devil right here. This coach does, of course, have a central vac system in it. That's where we would empty the bag for that. There's outlets out here, like a 110 outlet right here. If there's anything we want to plug in in these compartments, you can do it. So. For instance, like I'm thinking uh, my cordless screw gun, it might end up in this compartment and it's always plugged in and charged and ready to go. Now here's that pass-through tray. Uh, we saw it from the other side. Now from this side, you can see it a little better. And we actually have um, some extra tiles there that are the floor tiles. Those came out of the same box of tiles they used when they tiled this floor at the factory. That way, in the event that you ever drop a heavy pan on something or shatter a tile, you've got a replacement for it. Well, you got three or four replacements there and it'll match perfectly. It came from the same dial out, same tile. So um, that, that's, that's a good thing. All right, moving on to right here. No tray in this one because we want the height. This is a really tall compartment. So if you have taller items that are too tall to fit on top of that tray, they actually fit in here very nicely and that's a deep uh, pass-through compartment as well. You can see, let's get a shot in here. You can see part of the uh, um, chassis configuration that Numar uses when they're, when they're prepping this coach to, to handle the weight that it has. This is called the star platform where they use that 45 degree angle back towards the center so all the weight instead of just pressing down presses down and towards the center that's a very very strong way to build a chassis it's very very rigid which of course it needs to be we can't have a whole lot of flex flex cracks tile flex does not improve our ride flex can cause sidewall problems so flex is bad um, the star chassis doesn't flex much so that's that's a beautiful thing right here we have a tv built into our sidewall not just a tv it's a sony tv it's on a nice pivot, goes either direction, locks in place with just magnets, and we have the Bose Solo 5 sound system underneath it. Um, nice little sound bar there. We have one of these inside and outside. Uh, so you can uh, um, actually sync to that if you want to sync your phone to it through Bluetooth, listen to your favorite tunes from Pandora, something like that, you can do that. Or obviously watching TV, DVD, that can all come through there also. All right, and built into the sidewall means we didn't lose storage space down below in order to accommodate that. Lastly, we have our Dometic freezer or refrigerator. This can be either one. It's just a matter of which setting you put it on. Most of these, you pull it out and right there it stops. And then if you open your slide room, you can open your lid, uh, you know, to about right there. That's not very convenient. Um, the new Marwin, even if our slide room is fully extended, I can still get into here, which makes it very, very nice. All right, moving on. We talked about dual fuel fill. This is the other half of your fuel fill here. So like I said, either side you can get to the pump on, you're in good shape. I love the 50 year emblem that you're looking at up there. Um, you know, Numar invented the slide room. Numar invented the flat floor slide room. Everybody in this industry has copied Numar. Now used to, um, you know, they looked a little countryish uh, for a long time. They looked like, you know, a little bit of a farmhouse with oak cabinets and blue carpet or tan carpet. Folks, the design has just gotten so good. They're the most, they're still the best built coaches on the planet. Now they're the best looking also. So um, anyway, uh, we're gonna get to the inside in a minute. Before we do a couple more features on the outside, we have our keyless entry here. Um, you can open this by punching in your private code. You actually have a doorbell here as well. People love that feature. Um, you can lock and unlock your coach, lock and unlock your baggage doors. Those are all one quick lock, which is nice. You can do it here. You can do it with a button on the inside also. There's also a key fob. Um, so 
you don't have to go around and individually lock and unlock every compartment door and you don't even have to have your keys with you when you come back to your coach type in your code the coach unlocks and you're good to go chrome step new for this year just looks awesome of course we have backup and side cameras on this coach for for safety's sake and new for this year is actually our flagpole holder uh, there's a little adapter that goes in here so your favorite flag can be flying high all right, I think we've covered most of the outside. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, one of the things people are constantly wanting to see is the slide rooms in. I kind of, we kind of accidentally did this in one of the videos and we got like 20 comments on it. To, oh, show them all with the slides in. Okay, we hear you loud and clear. So this one's for you. All I ask and request is that you press that like button. So it's right below the video down here somewhere. Um, please press the like button. That helps us as a dealership. If you subscribe to us, you'll, you'll see every time we put a new video up. So that's great. And folks, most of all, thanks for, thanks for watching the videos. Um, we, we're we're kind of stunned at how many views we've been getting on the 2018 product. That's why we're back out here doing it. If, if we do a video and, you know, 13 people watch it overnight, uh, quite frankly, I'm not that motivated. I should be, but I'm not that motivated to get up the next day and get back out here and do another video we're getting thousands of hits uh, a night and on these videos and, and that's wonderful so i'm glad you're watching thank you so much um the aisle way when we're in now everybody likes all these slide rooms you know let's put two three five twelve slide outs on them uh and, and that's wonderful but there's a price to be paid <laughs> the price to be paid is when the slides are in the coaches are going to be a little tighter um this one we put the little l-shaped sofa in which i love that because we have the euro dinette here and, and that's that's probably my favorite dinette um little snug right here i mean I, it's not hard to get through i just you know there's going one way here's going the other you know it's not bad um and again i'm not a small guy but um there there's a little bit of tight there if you, if you did a regular sofa here it, you would have a little more room or you did the two chairs you might have a little more room um i like this configuration though so it, it is what it is um right here same thing but again not bad it's not like i'm really struggling getting into the restroom okay a little tight there but again 225 pound guy i'm in and out so and by the way you can always open the slides you know the, sometimes even when we're selling fifth wheels and stuff i can't get the refrigerator with the slide out and open the slide <laughs> um i know there's cer certain situations where that might be difficult but for the most part if we think about where we use these you're usually able to open the slides even if hey i'm gonna push my slide out six inches and give myself a little more room that's doable as well so anyway i can get in the refrigerator get what i want out of there i can get to the bed i can lay on the bed so um this one isn't the roomiest one we have with the slides in i'm not gonna sugarcoat that for anybody but it is still functional and that's that's the important part here um, and you're gonna love it with the slides out so now whether that balances in in your mind that's up to you all right let's get the slides open okay we are inside of the 2018 dutch star 4362 model we're backing up here give you a, a little bit of a wider angle view um, as if i'm not wide enough but at any rate on this model we have a, two sofas up front you could do the two recliner chairs up here if you wanted to that's an, another way to do it um, and i like i like that as well but this is the little l shape very comfortable sofa here um, both of these will make into bed so you have some great sleeping options uh, up front we do the euro booth i think the euro booth is the most comfortable dinette there is I know there's a lot of people out there that are against booths. All I'm gonna ask you is have an open mind and sit in one of these Euro booths before you say, I don't want the booth. Early on in diesel pushers, the booths they were using in these were the same thing they were using in our travel trailers. They build something out of two befores, well, probably not two befores, two by twos um, and plywood. Um, and then they put a foam cushion on it, wrap it in fabric and they call it comfortable. That's not furniture. This is real furniture. It's sprung underneath. It's comfortable. When you sit down, you feel that cushioning in there. It's, it's like I said, it's actually very, very comfortable. For those of us who worry about having a little bit too much up front here, um, look at the space. I've got eight, 10 inches here of clearance. Um, and, and I'm very, very comfortable to sit in And we get um, storage underneath these. These open up. Okay. And you get some great storage, which of course, as uh, RVers, we, we never get enough storage. Um, another new feature, and, and I hadn't seen this before, but this dinette actually, um, if you uh, snap your fingers twice, uh, there's some magic here. So I'm just gonna, and look what happens. We get our dinette, it actually expands. Oops, kinda, there we go. Yeah, 
it's out of calibration. Um, that's our extendable dinette for the Euro dinette, which is really sharp for this year. Hope you like that. Let's move on. All right, the woodwork that we see in here is the new woodwork this year for Numar. This is the Bermuda glazed maple, and this is the high gloss. All of the Numar woods have the option of a matte finish or high gloss. So this, you can kind of see all the way through, got the beautiful high gloss cabinets. The interior on this coach is called Sea Pearl and the exterior is called cobblestone. So as you uh, are looking through your Newmark coaches, those are, those are the specs on this particular one. Um, as I said, these both make into beds. This is a hide -a bed with an air mattress in it. This particular one is a jackknife sofa here. They're both very comfortable. Now, of course, we do have the televator and the televator switch has been moved this year. So I hit the button here and look what happens over here. Also not new um, for this year, but we do have the um, uh, power shade package, the MCD power shade package on here. You have day shades and night shades, and you press a button or two on here, the whole coach gets dark or privacy, however you want to look at it. Um, in the bedroom, they're right up above. If you're laying in bed, they're, they're right up above you there where you can touch them. You can darken your bedroom. Um, or if it's morning time, it's time to get the day started, hit a button and the shades go up. So very, very nice. Of course, multiplex lighting throughout. So if I want to turn on some more lights here, I just hit a couple of buttons and look at the way that lightens up. Lights up, lightens. Nah, that's, not, that's not good. Now, one of the things I love for this year, I've been mentioning in all the videos, is this cabinet has improved so much. Um, we, we actually have no Sony theater system up here anymore, um, which allowed us to make this smaller, to make this area smaller. Um, by making it smaller, it's not a head knocker anymore and it always was. Now, in order to pull that off, we went to this Bose sound system. Nice little sound bar, same one we have on the outside. That's called a Solo 5 sound system. And uh, that got rid of the uh, all the surround sound speakers in the ceiling. This sounds tremendous uh, and made this cabinet smaller. So that's a win. All of our coach controls are up here, whether it be our tank monitoring system, opening and closing awnings are, is in here, um, controlling our Oasis system, our burners for that, our inverter, our auto generator start. Um, this is our, our energy management system here. It tells us what kind of power is coming into the coach, different lightings, block heater. All of that is, is in this one compartment right here, satellite dish as well. Um, so when, you, when you're wondering, hey, where do I go to turn this on or off? It's probably in this cabinet right here. They've moved it, it used to be over here. By moving it here, uh, number one, they can put this front TV a little off center, which makes it better viewing from either the dinette or the main sofa. Um, but also, when you're over here, you're standing over the step well. So you had to have your step cover out in order to be comfortable um, working in, in the cabinet over here. So a lot of, lot of little improvements just by changing one electronic that came there. Now, of course, driver passenger seats do rotate. Up front in the dash area here, we'll point out a couple of things. New for 2018, we've, we've moved some USB ports over here to the driver's side. We've always had some for the passenger, now they're on the driver's side. Um, there's always little things to charge, so that's good. We have two cup holders. Here's our HWH fully automatic leveling system. You simply hit auto level, it dumps the air and levels the coach. Um, a power window, this window right here, the driver's window. That's a little thing, but you'd be surprised. It, it, it's not found in coaches under about $400,000. It's crazy, you can spend $250,000 and you got a manual slider window there. It's a real pain in the butt when you're paying tolls. Um, you get up to the Dutch Star level, that's actually a, a power window, which, which makes things very, very nice. Here's our tag dump switch here. Now, I mentioned on the outside uh, a scenario where you might use that. Other than that, I leave it in automatic mode. It, when you drop the coach in reverse, it does automatically dump some air out of that tag, so you're taking some weight off it not scrubbing tires so hard, um, but you could manually dump the tag if you if you need to. Power mirrors, heated mirrors, our headlight controls are over here, um, so that's nice. Of course, we have smart wheel here for our wiper controls, cruise control, that type of thing. We never have to take our hands off the wheel. All of our controls as far as our front shades, our movable pedals, uh, there are adjustable pedals on, on this, our visors up front, our generator start is up here. We can control the door lock from right here in the center dash control as well. This is our side and um, 
uh, rear cameras on this screen. This is our Sony system with our JBL speakers. Um, great sound and stereo system. That is, of course, Bluetooth as well. This is our comfort drive control. Um, there's a separate video um, on our site. Hopefully it's linked um, on each and every one of our diesels that just talks about comfort drive. So um, that, that's a little too long to get into now. We have to keep these videos under 45 minutes or else I can't post them everywhere we want to post them. So moving on, um, we've got some uh, lighting in our uh, uh, fascia here this year that's been changed. That is gorgeous. I love what they did. I thought um, in some of the previous years, I almost thought it was too much lighting. Um, it's just supposed to be a a little bit of ambiance and that's nice oh one new thing for 18 when they uh when you release your uh, parking brake to go um you release your parking brake drop it and drive not only does your door lock which has done that for years all your compartment doors lock as well which i think that's a great safety feature so there we go kitchen storage we're going to do this quickly because i know i'm running long on video here so pull new for this year you can't see the hardware anymore they hid the slides so that's wonderful we do have pull out drawers here Everybody wants to see all the storage in the kitchen, so let me get to that. Trash can's new for this year. Still have a pullout down here as well. So we'll let the cameraman get in there and get our good shots. Five drawers, two pullouts, plus a trash can pullout. That's good amount my kitchen storage. I love this floor plan. Still think 4369 is my favorite, but this, this might take over second place. There's a lot of neat things here. All right, Eurodynet we've talked about, clock's new for 2018. We have the full-size 22 cubic foot Whirlpool refrigerator freezer. This is the drawer freezer. There is an ice maker in here. I forgot to mention that. Somebody caught me on it. Um, and a water filter. One nice thing about the videos, if I forget anything, somebody will uh, uh, ask the question. New for 2018, we have LED lighting as a standard feature in here. So as soon as you open the door, you're all lit up. And these, of course, pull out and they're adjustable. Moving back into the bedroom, of course. Um, oh, one thing we didn't. How do I miss this? More floor. There's no carpet. This is Newmar's exclusive more floor system where even the slide outs have tile on them. So how can I forget that? Yeah, rookie move. King size bed with a sleep number in it. That does lift up and there's storage under there, but who's got time for that stuff? Let's show some wardrobe. There's two of these, one on the other side of this television, six drawers down below. There are outlets on either side of the bed that have both two 110 outlets in it uh, and USBs. So I want those at home, those are cool. All right, walking back into here, one thing kind of seems missing. Normally when you walk into your bathroom, there's a step up, there's no step. So that's wonderful. This is where this floor plan gets drastically different than the 4369. Our bathroom is different. Now we did away with one of the sinks. We, we, we reversed them. Shower was here, sinks were here in the 4369. So this is reversed and we, we lost one of the sinks. That's right, that's right, we gained some stuff too. You still have a nice undermount Corian sink. Um, lots of counter space. Nice uh, cabinet above with a power plug in there. I love the power plug in there. Just remodeled a bathroom and really wish I'd have thought of that. Huge shower. This probably is close to as big as the one in the 4369. That is a huge shower with a seat. Of course, there's a pocket door coming into the bedroom. There's a pocket door here, so you can close all of this off. And then we step back into the walk-in closet. How about that? You can see wonderful storage here. I'm thinking linen closet type storage, but I always tell people if you buy it, I don't care what you put there, you can put whatever you want. We got a shoe, a shoe cubby in the back, stackable washer and dryer, and no, because it's in the closet, those cumbersome doors aren't there. I love that because you, you had the door going this way, then you had the uh, washer door going this way. Too many doors, all right? And then there's more wardrobe over here. There's wardrobe up here. There's a safe. There's an air conditioner vent right above my head. Feels great because it's hot outside. There's a small step up coming into this closet, um, but, but that's it. Um, so 
Folks, gorgeous coach. I love the new 4362 floor plan. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. I think you will as well. Don't forget to ask for me. Don't forget to click like. And I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV.